Hey everyone, it's Nina. Today's video is going to be all about human design and the fourth line. As a 4-6 emotional manifester, this has been something that's been very conscious for me my entire life. So as a fourth line, I have always loved to be around people. I've loved to be the person that has um, like get togethers and host parties at my house and bring all of my friends together and just kind of like drag people into my experiences because as someone with a, a conscious fourth line in their profile, it's just much more apparent to me like how important my network is and the type of people that I hang out with and the quality of people that I hang out with. And so it's definitely shifted over the years uh, being a four or six um, coming onto the roof. And that's something I'll actually talk about in another video where being a four or six can be kind of devastating because as you go onto the roof, you realize that all of the people and jobs and hobbies, well, maybe not all the hobbies, but like like people and, and just your network may not be correct for you because as a third line, the first 30 years of your life, you know, everything's trial and error. And as you climb on the roof, you start to get more selective and you realize that the type of people that are in your network may not really be for you anymore as you get more clear and more settled in on the roof. That's something to take into consideration when, or as a fourth line. And that was really huge for me because I began to realize that my network really wasn't that great <laughs> as a six line as I, I went onto the roof. So that's why the the quality of your network is is super important. It doesn't matter if you have, you know, a hundred friends or five friends. If those hundred friends don't provide um, benefit to you as a fourth line, then it's kind of worthless to have them as friends in some way. You know, maybe they're really nice people, but um, I find that, you know, having five quality friends that um, you can benefit from, whether they're they're fun to be around or you feel lighter around or they're able to help you out in your business or different areas of your life, uh, those are really great quality people to be around. So to start off, I kind of made a list because I'm experimenting with <laughs> doing these videos. Uh, normally I just allow myself to just speak and to flow, but I kind of have bullet points of things that I want to touch on because sometimes I'll do videos and I'll forget <laughs> like different things that I feel like are important to share. So um, just from my own experience. Everything that I talk about are things that are solely from my experience that I really understand about different aspects of human design. So as a fourth line, I'm speaking specifically from my own experience and um, that's what I like to share from because I actually embody that, that knowledge and that experience. It's not just something that I've read. Firstly, I'd like to talk about as a fourth line, obviously your network is super important and that can be you know, job-wise, like your opportunities come from your jobs. That's actually happened to me a lot where I've had people come up to me and say, oh, like I have this project if you want to work on it. And I'm like, yeah, sure. And it's like when I'm really in flow and um, I really know what I'm looking for, people normally pop up from my network or I can reach out to people and say, hey, this is what I'm looking for. And I'll be able to get some pretty good responses from people in my network who are willing to share with me. From a job perspective, it can be really great uh, from a relationship perspective, it can be really great as well. I dated someone that was in my network in my early 20s and um, we were friends before and I feel like that's like the healthiest way for a fourth line to be in a relationship. I've had it both ways where someone that wasn't in my network came into my life and we were together for a really long time. So I it was a little bit harder because I didn't really know the person. And so I actually took the time to become friends with my partner before we actually started dating. So it's incredibly important for fourth lines to really understand and know a person um, and consider them like a, a friend before they actually start dating. There's just gonna be a deeper level of trust and understanding uh, about the person. I will say as an emotional being as well, something to take into consideration when getting to know someone relationship wise or friendship wise, we do need to be in the aura of somebody else uh, a few times before we really get a, a good understanding of like this person of good quality for my network. 
Uh, so giving yourself time to work through these emotional waves and to feel out a person before you really invite them into your network um, is going to be really important. And I will say for me that I notice like normally I can tell right off the bat whether a person is correct for me, but I need to collect more information just being around the person, watching their mannerisms, how they treat other people, you know, what they do for their career, some of their hobbies and their skills. Do I connect with that? So it takes time for me to gather a lot of that information. Normally, like I said, normally I know right off the bat whether a person is, is good for my network or not. And there is something that's called like the slow fade for fourth lines. I think I've read about this somewhere and I was like, I totally resonate with this. It's, um, it's like when you realize someone isn't who you really want to be in your network, say you're, you're at a networking event and you go around and you meet different people and some that you really connect with and others that maybe not so much, but maybe they connect with you a lot and you pretend to be interested, like you're, you're a social being as a fourth line, you're super social and you're just being nice to everyone and you're kind of like the life of the party sometimes. And that say someone's like interested in you, there's kind of like a slow fade of you being like, yeah, yeah, everything's really great. Like you're a great friend. And then it's like, you're like, mm, maybe this person isn't right for me. And it's not like you're trying to be mean. It's just kind of like a natural progression where you're just like realizing over time, like, no, nah, this person isn't, isn't really correct for me. So I've really noticed that about myself, like nothing against anyone else. It's just like whether you know a person is correct for you or not. Another thing with being a fourth line, like having a quality network is super important. Um, and like I said earlier, being a sixth line and coming onto the roof, I kind of realized that my network was, I don't want to say my network was shit, but it's like I didn't have as many quality connections as I really thought I did. So. For example, I began to realize like, okay, these are the things that I'm interested in and these are things that I need help with in my life. And so I would put a call out on social media or I'd reach out to certain people or friends and be like, hey, I'm in need of this or I'm looking for this or I need help with this. And it'd be like total crickets coming back. And that to me is a sign that, you know, you don't necessarily have the most high quality network or there could be more people that you could network with to bring into um, your network or have connections with um, that are relevant to to what is needed in your life. And that can seem kind of like superficial for uh, a fourth line or just for people in general, but it was something that I had to kind of like get past as like a negative thing as a fourth line. It's like as soon as you meet somebody, you are instantly like scanning your brain to say like, okay, what's their person personality like? Are they fun to be around? How do I feel when I'm around them? How do I feel after I'm out, outside of their aura? Do they have something relevant that, you know, with their skills that I may need or that they could help me with? Or are their interests the same as mine? Um, are they like a doctor or a professional or somebody that would be good to have in my network? These are all things that I'm like instantly scanning for as soon as I meet a person and I think it's just a natural, I feel like it's just a natural um, fourth line thing because, you know, as long as you're coming from like a, a pure purity from your heart and you're not trying to take advantage of the person, there's obviously going to be some sort of equal exchange um, of energy. If that person comes into your network, then, you know, I think, I, I really believe that it's just a natural thing for a fourth line to, to take these things into consideration because... I think a lot of times it's unconscious for people, but since it's, you know, a conscious line in my profile, it's something I'm just more hyper aware of that, uh, something that I do. And I'm also a quad right. So I'm also taking into consideration the frequency and the vibration and everything of a person and like their spirit and the purity of their heart and all of this, like when I meet a person. So that's really helpful for me to determine whether someone is correct for me or not or not like especially after i work through my emotional wave those things are always good to take into consideration i think we don't need to be so hard on ourselves about because i really believe that we all all do it another thing with fourth lines is that for me personally i'm so so loyal to those that i'm really close to like if you're in my network and um we have some sort of connection i will like go help you to the ends of the earth with anything like if you call me up and you're like hey I have this or this wrong blah 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 and I'll be like I'm coming right over I will like go to the ends of the earth to like make sure that you're okay and to make sure that you're happy 
and just anything to help anyone that's in my network, like I, I'm all there for it. So even though I may have, you know, how many lots and lots of friends, it's more so for the people I have a deeper connection with, but I am pretty loyal and I am willing to really help out the people who are in my network. Um, and maybe that has something to do with, with my open heart as well. And another thing about being a fourth line is uh, we just love to be around people, but we do need this time to regenerate. We need time to be alone. We need time to kind of go back into our shells a little bit. And I just know for me personally, as a non-sacral being, it can be overwhelming to be around a lot of generators and all of that sacral energy. And so I can get really hyped up on it when I'm really in the mood going through my emotional wave. And I just really, really want to be around people and I want to interact with other people. And then I leave and I'm like, wow, I really didn't have that really wasn't my energy to, <laughs> to be used. So it's something to be mindful of as a fourth line, if you're not a sacral being that when you're in the mood to be social or when you're out being social, um, just knowing when enough is enough. Those are probably like all my top things that I have to say about being a fourth line. I love being a fourth line. I love being around other people. I love sharing all of my experiences as someone with the 3536 channel. I will actually do another video on that as well to talk about in more detail, but I'm just, I constantly want to bring everyone into my experiences to have the same experience as me because I love adventures and I love learning new things and I think that everyone around me should be learning and experience the, <laughs> experiencing the same thing as me because I want them to to bring them into that place of curiosity and innocence and purity of discovering something new for the first time and so uh, I will say that I've had to be more selective with the types of experiences that I bring people into and bring people from my network into because I'm realizing not everyone wants to have these same experiences as me. And so it's like, again, having a quality network and having someone to bring into those experiences with me, like is really helpful because I just love sharing it with other people. And that's part of like what I really love being about a fourth line. It's just that I love people and i love seeing the good in people and i just really hold people in high regards and so i just want to bring people into my network all the time and so i feel like if i choose a person it's you know obviously there are the mechanics of a chart and if we have more electromagnetic channels or maybe there's some not self stuff thrown in there as well but you know, I, I'm going to want to bring you into my network and I'm going to want to love on you and be loyal to you and be so excited to be around you. Um, so I think that's just the lovable trait of a fourth line. We're just, we just love being around other people. So this has been my experience so far as a fourth line, and I'm sure I will remember a lot more after this video. So if that's the case, then I'll just make another one. But I'm curious what everyone else's experience is as a fourth line and you know if you have anything that you'd like to add maybe I, I didn't speak to or maybe resonate with this or maybe you're more of a hermit and you don't experience so much of the fourth line as like a two four or something but uh I know that there are some similarities as well or things that you may not be aware of if your line is unconscious so since my line four is conscious it's something I'm more hyper aware of uh, in my life. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.